Hi, uh, this is a two-part tutorial where I'm going to talk about this hybrid trap dubstep sort of project file. Uh, in this half, I'm going to focus on the buildup, and in the next half, I'm going to talk about the drop and the sound design. So uh, without any further ado, I'm going to just play everything for you. Wait a minute. There you go. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. I'm going to start from the top and work down here. Um, so the top I have my drums. There are uh, four main drum sounds. This kick, my uh, main snare, a secondary snare, and then a clap. Now these three are all used in the actual drop and this one right here, that's just for the build up. So I have uh, these two combined on a quarter note rhythm just to do uh, a basic little clap sound. And then I have this uh, offbeat rhythm for my main snare. And that main snare is the one that's doing most of the building. So uh, once it gets to the fifth bar, it starts to speed up there into eighth notes and then 16th notes and then 32nd notes. And as it does that, I also have the fine pitch going up. So the snare gets higher and higher. And then with my kick drum here, it's uh, once a bar and then it speeds up to uh, half notes there. And as it speeds up, I actually have the velocity dropping down because I want less and less bass as we get towards the drop. You'll notice that I do that with a couple of things in the buildup. So I have this bass down here, which I'll get to in a little bit. Uh, and I have that high pass as well because I want less and less bass frequencies as we get closer to the drop. So the uh, bass in the drop hits a little bit harder by comparison. Uh, so that's those main drums up there. Um, I have this bass right here. Um, which is the same main bass that you hear throughout the drop. So I'm going to play that real quick. That's the one that you hear throughout most of the drop. Uh, so I made a copy of that. The LFO that is doing the uh, wobble sort of sound, I have that uh, here, except this time it's not synced to the BPM. So the original one is synced to 16th notes, uh, but this one is off the grid. So I can speed it up slowly, which is what I do with this macro here. So you'll hear something like this. And then uh, this one right here, this automation clip is controlling the pitch. So this one's speed and this one's pitch. And then this one right here is just a low pass filter. Uh, and then the reverb is the bottom one. Uh, now I'm going to talk about the sound design and how I actually design the sound and all that in the second half when I do the drop episode. Um, so that's that part. Um, then I have some basic crashes in the background. Go along with the drums. Nothing too fancy there. Uh, then I have a white noise sample. And I have a riser as well. Uh, now both of those are from an old riser sample pack I did back when I just started out doing YouTube and I kept that in my folder for the past four years or so. So I use that every once in a while. Even though I don't do much bass music anymore, it's still nice to have them around. Um, then I have a reverse crash uh, leading up. Uh, and then down here I have this acid bass. Now I used a, the transistor bass plugin in FL Studio. Um, for this, it's pretty nice actually, uh, in case you like acid bases and that sort of stuff. Uh, now I don't actually have the full version of the plugin, so I had to uh, render it out. Uh, but this is the pattern that I made right here, pretty basic stuff. And um, I had the resonance on the filter increase as we got closer to the drop. And then again, I had the high pass come in. Uh, so if you go to the mixer channel here, you'll see that this high pass filter uh, closes more and more as we get towards the drop. And the resonance goes up as well. Then I have it all the way up right here just so it cuts the reverb off. Um, and then this little uh, two bar section right here 
this little break um, is pretty basic. I have the main bass right here, which slowly filters in. Uh, and then there's more and more reverb as it filters in. Um, and then the other two things that I have, I have a kick drum at the beginning. And then a snare drum right here. And then this little vocal sample. Wait a minute. I was gonna use a different vocal sample that says the same thing that I already have in my library, uh, but it's from an old movie and the quality is pretty bad. And the T in the wait a minute at the end is kind of cut off. I tried adding in my own T sound that I recorded and it just didn't sound good. So I ended up recording one myself and then messed with the pitch and the format until it didn't sound as stupid as me just talking. And so that's pretty much everything. I'm gonna play the uh, whole build one more time for you. Wait a minute. Yeah, so that's it. If you have any questions about how I did this and uh, you want to see something else from the channel, then please leave a like down below. And if you want to support me, my album Completely Implicit is out now. It's on Spotify, iTunes, Apple Music, TikTok too. I don't really know how that works, but I checked the box on DistroKid, so it's on TikTok now. Um, if you want to check that out, it, that would be amazing to help me out. It's also on SoundCloud for free, too, so uh, it's not about the money. It's really just I want people to hear it because I spent a lot of time on it. Uh, so I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.